for the most part, when the joint is destroyed, you need to do a form of hip replacement. There are a number of procedures we can do for the hip. We can do hip arthroscopy, which is a less invasive procedure, and where the problem is mainly around some of the soft tissue that encompasses the socket. And you can deal with those small injuries to that tissue by doing something arthroscopically with small little scopes and windows into the hip. Other procedures we call debridement procedures where we can remove segments of bone sometimes which are impinging also can be done arthroscopically. But for the most part when the joint is destroyed, arthritic, you need to do a form of hip replacement. And there are more than one type of hip replacement. Uh, there's the conventional or traditional hip replacement surgery. There are some other forms where the ball is somewhat preserved and then do what's called a surface replacement. A new socket is put in and a cap is placed onto the ball. It's a procedure that was done in the past. Uh, our experience with it was not great and it was abandoned. And now there's been a resurgence of interest in it and we're looking at how patients do with this going forward.